Hey, Nakai. Hey, Blaine. What's up? This is what came out. All right, then. What are you doing? Um, I'm going to put socks on. You're not wearing any socks? No. Woo, not safe for television. Oh, you're such a dork. <laughs> oh, shit. So? So? What's new? Hi, Pickles. You gotta close the door better. Apparently. Anyways, what's new? Pickles. Pickles, we're trying to make a show. The best show ever for the internet. She's like, yeah, it's because I'm in it. Or you could clean yourself right there. Okay. Um, oh, we've been gone for a week. We have. Well, I haven't. You have. Yeah, well, I was gone for three days, and then the next two days we're trying to acclimate to uh -huh. the, uh, the time change. Uh-huh. You do not look like you are acclimated yet. Mm -mm. I think daylight savings time is stupid. It is. I don't understand. Like, I, I mean, I understand there was a time for it, maybe, but now it's just like, whatever. Stop it. No more daylight savings time. We should start a petition. See, I don't even know. Are we in the... Uh, when is normal time? Um, like, you know how there's an hour change, right? Is the time we fall back, is that the normal time? Or is the time we spring ahead, like, right now? Is this the normal time? Or is this the, this is the modified time, because we get an extra day of sunlight. Also, around here, it fucking stays light out now till, like, 10, 11 o'clock. Well, not right now, but in the summer, it's, like, light out till 10 or 11 o'clock. So, like, we don't fucking need daylight savings time. No, we don't. Plus, it was invented by Nazis. Not really. It, the first case of daylight savings time was in Germany, but it was before there was Nazis. Okay, but I don't understand the whole premise of it. So, you... It was to get an extra hour of daylight. But you don't gain any more daylight. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> That's that short-term thinking. Oh, shit, change clock. Stays light out an hour later. Yeah, but it gets light out an hour later. <laughs> like, it stays darker longer. It's... And it's like, oh, we did it for the farmers. The farmers don't give a fuck. They wake up at sunrise. Whatever the fuck sunrise is. And they work till sundown. Whatever sundown is. No, yeah. no. Get rid of it. I'm done. No more daylight savings time. I'm just not going to live that way anymore. Yeah. My boss is going to be like, uh, how come you're an hour late? Uh, actually, I'm on time. The world is an hour late. Yep. Whoa! Uh, I, uh, I identify as non-daylight savings. Pretty low-hanging fruit you're going for there. Well, you can identify as anything, and uh, they have to respect that. That's not how... Why would you bring that up? You know I have to... Mm. That's not how that works. It. That's how they think it works. Can I have the juice? No, now you're making broad generalization statements or for a few bad actors. How do you know they're bad? Well... I think I stress him out on a Monday morning. Well, see, there's people who, like, get all in your face. Those people don't need to identify as anything. They, like, feel like they need to control life or have an enemy. And, and there's a big difference from people who actually need to identify as something. I agree. <laughs> I know. It's, it's always that go-between where it's like, it's like, Yes, this started as a legitimate thing. And then the whiners took over. Yeah. And I I feel bad for... People who actually... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The real people. Yes. I just enjoy 
poking. I get it. I get it. There's funny jokes. Yeah. Like the elk that identifies as a cow. Yes. I get it. I get it. But it, it is kind of at the point where it's like, okay, like, let's just let people live their life. And then everybody who's getting in everybody's face about something, fuck off, chill out. Well, that's just like it. Like both sides, both sides. Like I'm oh, not, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. picking a side here, but I mean, like if you're in somebody's face because of how they live their life, fuck off. Then yeah, you have the problem, not them. Right. It's like vegans. Fucking vegans. No, listen. There this, are the. This made sense to you, didn't no, it? No, no, okay. The vegans, right? There are the, and I quote, Facebook vegans. Yes. Who are in your face trying to like steal the steak off your plate? Fuck those people. And then there's people who are like, I don't, I don't eat animal products, bro. I'm like, all right, cool. I do. You know, because. Vegans also get it from the other way. It's like, you don't eat meat? Are you sure? So, like, I get it, man. You don't want to eat meat? That's cool. Don't eat meat. Right? Don't take the steak off my plate. I won't put it off yours. Everybody lives in harmony. Yeah, because we have... uh... Plus, vegans can't put up much of a fight because they don't get a lot of iron. We had a friend who uh, used to be vegetarian or vegan? Vegetarian. Vegetarian. Okay. I thought I would... But he wasn't one of the, like, do you remember the day that he, we ordered pizza? Either we accidentally fed him meat on his pizza. Yeah. Yeah. But to And be, we all felt like shit. And, and he didn't give a fuck. No. But it, I think it was because, like, we didn't do it on purpose. Plus the little pieces of steak that came on the Domino's pizza. Like, like how shitty is your steak and whatever pizza if your steak looks like mushrooms? And our... To that, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. But no, ultimately, folks, just live your life. Leave people alone. Namaste. Nama fucking stay. Right? All, all sides of the argument. I think, I, think, I think we would all just get along better if we all just held our own beliefs and lived our life and realized that not everybody is going to live the way you want them to. You can't control other people's actions. And I think that's the biggest problem is, is a lot of people making noise. See how I'm not taking a side. A lot of people making noise are just trying to fucking control everybody else. And it's like, that's not going to work. It's that's because, not going to make you happy. But it's because you don't really have a side. Because you are, you're an oddity in the world, babe. Please carry on. You're not hurting my feelings? It, no, what I mean is you like a person I, I, regardless of anything. Their gender, their color, their sexuality, their These things food don't matter cho- to me. Your, their food choices. Like, none of it matters to you because it, like, it doesn't affect you. If you're nice to me, I'll be nice to you. If you're a dick, I got reserves, motherfucker. <laughs> Basically, like you, you are an oddity <coughs> on the simple fact that it doesn't. Thanks, I think. It no, it's it. Yes, like I'm complimenting you on the fact that. Well, the the one thing I noticed that I I think I try and do that a lot is I will try and understand your point of view. Whether I agree with you or not is, is secondary. Like I, and I have I have asked people of different walks of life a bunch of questions. And I always start off with, I don't, I'm not trying to, you, you know, I'm to... not trying to put you on that thing. Uh, look at this specimen right here. This is what's known as the straight white female. Yes. And today we are going to learn about, no, I'm not trying to, I just. You're curious because then... you don't think like that and you don't, that's, so you want to understand other people. Yeah. Well, we don't have to think the same thing to be friends. No. And there's a lot of people out there who seem to think you have to. Me and you don't think the same things. I know. And you're wrong. If you say so. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, you gotta go to work! And you gotta get dressed. Eh, we haven't told the fart story because you deleted the video. Guess that'll wait till tomorrow. (laughs) 
Oh, um, you know, so Pam doesn't give a shit. See, I say it with a smile this time. Because last time I called out Pam, I'm like, shit, she's going to think I'm actually calling her out. <clears throat> See if I can get it right. Okay. First take, okay? All right. Will All right. takes? Yeah. Well, the next thing I say is going to be right. And if there's an edit point, oh, well. <laughs> All right. Some days I wake up grumpy. Some days I let her sleep in. See, that's what Weekends. it is. Weekends. See, this is what screws me up. Is the the phrase used to be, some days I wake up grumpy, Weekends. sometimes I let her sleep in. Then we tried to do, because we do weekdays with the video. That's when we change it to weekdays and weekends. And it is too early in the fucking morning to change my catchphrase. True that. Eat some meat. You'll like it. Also, eat some vegetables. They're good for you. I don't 